G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Well today we've got this RC vehicle made by Flytech. They make two different RC vehicles. This one that I've got today is the 8897. It's a 112 scale pickup truck. Now the one on the box here is the Land Rover or Range Rover looking body shell. That is the 8896 model. But I've actually got the Raptor pickup version right here. So uh, you can pick this one up at Banggood, guys. I think it's on sale at the moment. Here's a few pictures on the side of the box here showing the uh, different uh, parts of the vehicle. And here's the back of the box, which shows a few of the specs here. As you can see, you can see the whole chassis layout there. It's got a waterproof battery box. It runs off a two-cell battery. Die-cast universal shafts. This one's got quite a bit of metal in it. Uh, it's also got ball bearings throughout. It's got a high-speed steering servo, metal diff gears, which is awesome because uh, they're not plastic, which is usually the case with these uh, entry-level budget uh, RC vehicles. And adjustable shocks, so it's pretty cool. Also shows you a bit of information about how many batteries it takes in the controller and the charging options. So anyway, guys... I'll open it up and we'll have a look inside, then I'll take this beast for a bit of a run and see how it goes. Okay guys, here's the contents of the box. First we're greeted with the user manual. I'm not going to open this up or bore you with the showing you the diagrams and stuff in the user manual, but as you can see it's an 8897 model for this particular truck. We have a hobby screwdriver, the U USB charger 7.4 volt, looks like we've got a spare set of body clips. And the little uh, T-bar wrench for the to take the wheels off. So that's that. We've also got a box here which houses the controller. So it's a nice looking controller. Looks like quite a quite a common sort of style controller here. It takes four AA batteries on the bottom. And it's got Flytech written on it. We've got steering dual rates. So that's awesome. You can adjust the radius of the turn or how sensitive it turns left or right. Um, or you can stiffen it up a bit so it doesn't turn too sharply. So that's a steering dual rate dial. Steering trim, of course, and just a simple on and off switch plus a binding button. So if you have any tro troubles with binding it, which I don't see you would, but there's a bind button there to reset the whole system. Uh, to, to bind it to your truck. Nice little grippy uh, sponge filled wheel here. And yeah, trigger with a little shark fin antenna. Pretty awesome. All right, now to the truck. This has got a bit of weight to it. This actually weighs 1800 grams, so just under the two kilogram mark. And uh, here it is here, guys. Looks pretty awesome. Looks like the Ford Raptor. I presume I've seen this body shell before on a real pickup, so it looks like they're going for the Raptor style pickup look. I actually like this uh, body shell. You can see it's got high speed pickup, 4x4, four four, super power. And it looks like some tread patterns of tyres all over it. We've got 36 written on the front and like a little hood scoop as well. So pretty cool looking body shell for this vehicle it's held on by four pins and got big rubber tires these actually look like uh, tires and wheels off a vehicle that I've got already it's actually uh, the one of the pickups uh, Zinlong brand so uh, yeah same tire these are pretty good grippy tires of uh, experienced them before on that other vehicle that I just mentioned so they do the job perfectly nice black wheels to go with it we've got a rear mounted 390 motor here brushed motor so that's pretty uh that's a different uh style usually they're in the middle of the chassis but uh that's all right it's uh out in the back there we've got a heat sink there and a lot of a lot of uh metal Parts for the drivetrain, as you can see, you've got the the diecast uh, metal drive shafts going into the metal diffs there. It's all metal, which is good. You can hear, you actually hear the metal and the bearings. So that's awesome. 
and we've got uh, these seem to be friction shocks guys but they are adjustable as you can see there with the little threaded ring on the top there so pretty cool pretty cool looking vehicle the bumpers on the front are pretty solid to withstand any shocks if you have a hard impact same with the back here very hard plastic so uh, let me just take the body pins off and we'll have a quick look inside okay guys I've taken the body pins off the shell and this is what it looks like underneath the whole chassis as you can see it does have friction shocks these are not oil filled they actually got a quite a quick rebound to them but uh, they are not oil filled but as you can see you've got an adjustment ring uh, to adjust the dampening you can adjust that top ring up and down so you can adjust the rebound uh, yeah 390 motor on the back like I mentioned before we've got an anodized red heat sink to keep things cool in that department uh, as you can see all metal gearing we've got metal drive cups going to the diff metal drive shafts and ball bearings throughout it's even got metal see the 12 millimeter hexes there they go on the wheels they're metal they're not plastic so everything's metal on this one which is good the main tail shaft as you can see the main or drive shaft if you like to call it that uh, that's all metal as well going down the center of the vehicle to connect the two diffs You've got the on and off switch just there at the front okay very easily accessible once the shell is on i like that and uh dog bones on the front are uh, in the steering arms uh plastic but uh yeah looks pretty well built actually guys for the uh, price point i think this one's around 70 us we've got the high speed servo just here i don't know the kilogram rating of it because they don't state it in the box but uh on the uh on the website but um as you can see here i actually took off the uh plate here the cover rather this houses the actual um esc receiver combo so i'll put a picture of up on the screen now you can see that it's in there um, I took a photo of it and then put this back on so yeah it's all uh, encapsulated in the middle there it's not exposed so uh, that will um, help keep dust and grit out there is some venting in there for cooling as well of the ESC receiver uh, yeah so that's basically it. on the bottom here we have the battery bay uh, it looks like a pretty decently sized battery you can just take these uh, tabs off or spin them around rather and you've got the little lid here and it's a rather large battery bay as you can see there it's got a, like a felt finish there and the plug for the lipo so there you go pretty decently sized so you can fit other batteries in there not a problem now talking about the battery battery rather here is the battery here it is a 7.4 volt 1500 milliamp hour it's a lithium ion pack but you can easily put a lipo on this one now this one comes with that funky <laughs> receiver style plug i call it a receiver plug because there's no real name for this it's not a some people call it a black xt30 connector it is not i've put an xt30 connector against this one those yellow xt30s and they're a totally different shape so um this is more more so like a receiver plug. My uh, Zinlahong 9131 16-scale truck ended up coming out with this same battery uh, plug. And um, I suppose you could just buy LiPos from that model to use in this one. But uh, I actually made up a, a little lead and uh, that I can connect other batteries to by using this plug. So that's the only downfall of this one. Um, this is a very uncommon plug arrangement that they've put on here. I wish they just went away with a Deans or even a Red JST or something like that would have been better because that way you could buy um, batteries rather easily. But I guess some of these companies do this, so you buy the, the batteries just from them, okay? But uh, anyway, enough rambling about the battery. I think this would give you roughly, there's no stated times, but this should give you about 15 minutes or maybe even 20 running time all right guys so anyway that's enough for the talking about this uh pickup truck the raptor 
I'm going to take this out, charge that battery up, and we'll see it how, how it runs and how it performs out at the field, guys, or I'll put it through its paces. So stick around for that. That's coming up next. Okay, guys, welcome back. Now we're down at the field for some drive testing of the Flytech 8897 Raptor pickup. So let's get into it. It's a 112 scale vehicle. Let's turn it on. I'll turn the actual transmitter on first. There we go. We're all bound. Okay. See how this thing performs. Steering trim looks good. Okay. Yep. That should do it. All right. Now yeah, she's pretty bouncy, you can see that straight away. It's a big truck. 112 scale. Good brake. So you can see the friction shock uh Absorbing, absorbing the terrain there pretty good, even though they're pretty soft. <laughs> so it is a bit of a beast off off road. Look at that, just eating it up. It's got a 390 motor this one, so the speed ain't too bad in it. That's the top speed there. I mean, it's not overly fast, but it's only a little 390 power in a big truck. It's not too bad. Look at it eat up this <laughs> terrain. Oh, we got stuck there. Get out of it. There we go. The Raptor got out of it. Powered by a lithium ion pack, as I showed you in the unboxing. It's got a bit of a wide, I can notice it's got a rather wide radius of a turning circle. But I can turn the dual rate up somewhat. There you go. I've turned the dual rate and it's for tighter turns. So, there you go. You can adjust it. That's better. But man, this thing. <laughs> this thing eats up the terrain like it's nothing. I've got a big twig stuck in there, I think. Is that? No. It fell out. She's a bouncy one, but you can see the the friction shocks. Doesn't, it keeps it rather level. It's not bouncing around all over the place. It's actually, the soft shocks are actually absorbing the terrain quite good. That's that's, all right. that's pretty good actually. They're doing the job, you know. The cheap friction shocks. You could always upgrade this one to uh, oil fields. They don't cost that much. I remember my Zinla Hong 9125 was bouncier than this one actually. This one eats it up quite good. So yeah, so far, seems like a not a bad entry level hobby grade vehicle, pickup truck. Good one for kids. See if I can do some jumps here. A little jump there. Let me see. I'll bring it back this way. See the range on this thing. It's got a decent range. It's about 70 metres, 60 metres. I could have kept going. This is the top speed. Whoa, there you go. So it eats that. It eats up the jumps pretty good. Alright. 
you got your battery bay on the bottom there. It's meant to be waterproof too, guys. It states it in the uh, in the actual uh, listing. So uh, yeah, this is a good off-road vehicle. I mean, this is you know this is thick thick terrain. Some of my trucks struggle in this, especially, you know, some of the full drive ones in this sort of price range. I think this one's about 70 bucks, American. So maybe a, a little, a tad over 100 Australian. Let's go for another jump here. There's a bit of a ridge here. Look at that. Jump like a champ. Try that again. Not a problem. So it's all metal gearing too. You're gonna have no problems with uh, the gears. All right, guys. Well, might leave that to it. Don't want to go too long with this video. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this one of the this review of the Flytech 8897. It's the Raptor. You can see it's based on the Ford Raptor pickup. I think it's a pretty good vehicle for the price. I'm very impressed the way it uh, handled all the jumps and uh, all this terrain here just ate it up. So uh, Thanks for watching guys, I'm going to uh, do a speed run on this one soon. We'll see how it goes on the speed, I think they rated this one for around 35 k's. So be sure to stay tuned for that one. I haven't got my GPS speed reader, reader with me today, so I'll do that another day. And uh, if you haven't already guys, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. And uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching, so I'll catch you later guys. This one is at Banggood if you're interested in... Uh, in looking at this one yourself guys all right so the links will be in the description all right guys until next time have fun with the hobby happy RCing and have a great day